Uh, Brad, you frequently talk about uh, buy-in, having everybody bought in. It appeared as though everyone was buying in tonight. Yeah, we were, we were giving it. Um, you know, it got a little hairy in the second there, I thought. Uh, Jeff was great in that. I thought he was. Uh, he looked a lot more comfortable for me tonight, even because um, he had a lot more danger at him coming at him tonight. But yeah, I thought the whole group they uh, they were giving it. You know, we, we lost ourselves a bit in the second, but I thought the third we kind of we gathered him. We get an early goal, which helps. But uh, that's a good hockey team we played, and, and they come at you. Anything in particular that was said between the second and third to to kind of regather anybody? Oh yeah, it was inspiring. Uh-huh. It was inspiring. You should have heard. Oh, we talk about a few things, try to make a couple uh, adjustments and just be aware of certain things. But really, the, after the second, if you, if you watch the puck battles, they took over that game because of that. And, and that's that was the one area that we can control that. We're not going to win them all, but we had to win at least half of them or get better in that area. So, uh, And our puck support wasn't there. We were just spread out. And, you know, we played the pretty much the whole period in our, in our zone, it felt like. So we knew we had to be, be better in that area and, and hopefully put together a better period. The, the Spets goal, uh, the way the team was able to, re- able to regather itself and finish regulation and overtime. I wonder if you could just comment on that. Yeah, disappointing they score, but uh, stuck with it. You know, you, Patty comes through again, right, in overtime there. Him and Jake, they've they've done the job this year in overtime for us, so uh, just a great shot. You know, he's feeling it right now. He's, his shot is, is dead on right now. Did you, did you think that was a distinct kicking motion? Uh, no comment. I'm, I, you know what? It, it's just you just get yourself in trouble. Um, yeah, they made a decision and we had to live with it. So yeah, um, it, your power play it, it is is sort of lost in space there, and then Bofist out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. How big is a goal like that in that situation? It just sort of kaboom. And how you yeah, play. we didn't have much going. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a really good penalty kill too. They don't have a lot of weaknesses that team. When you you look at the the stats and overall how how they're built, so. You know there the chance is going to be hard to come by, um, and and we got we got a you know bull comes down he's got a lot of speed he just keeps going and shot through screen and gets in so that was a big boost because it, it wasn't anything pretty that's for sure but you know you find a way to get a goal on a power play against that team it's a good thing. Brad, you've been around some great players both as a coach and a player. Have you ever seen anything like this? What Liney's doing with the puck right now? I, I have. I've been fortunate, like you said, been been around uh, a few Hall of Famers on on one team there in Colorado, but you talked about it before, these guys getting these zones. Um, Forsberg was a guy who could do it, or, or Sackett. You know, they could rattle off 10 goals in 11 games very easily or make it look easy. Um, and he's one of those guys in our in our time now that, you know, he's got he's got some confidence with the puck. He, can, he, he wants to shoot the puck now because he believes it's going to go in. And, and with a guy that's with a shot like that, it gets a little scary for goalies because he's he's – He's slinging it right now, and they're not from the one-timers. It's from his wrist shot. He's got a hard wrist shot, so we need it, and it's great to see him still on this roll here.